your buddy PNW Erica, licensed realtor in the state of Washington. And today we're going to talk about only one thing and one thing in particular, and that is vinyl sheet flooring. Yes, that's right. Vinyl sheet flooring, perhaps formerly known as linoleum, has definitely made some huge strides in terms of durability, design, and function. So we're going to take a dive into that today to see some of my favorite linoleum, I mean sheet vinyl flooring patterns on the market. The first trend to talk about that we have to address is the huge Moroccan tile themed flooring trend. So we're seeing that all over the place, um, you know, a lot of it all over HGTV, but just in some of the listings around town, I've seen it in kitchens, I've seen it uh, kitchen flooring, I've seen it a backsplash, and I've seen it bathroom floorings and also backsplash in the shower. So we absolutely have to address this trend first and foremost. So I wanted to let everyone know that there absolutely is a sheet flooring option. Vinyl sheet flooring is going to be hands down less expensive to install, remove, and just to actually purchase the material than would be a, uh, a porcelain tile or a ceramic tile um, or a plank uh, flooring system like a luxury vinyl plank. And because the Moroccan tile look, I believe is more of a trendy look and less of a classic look, I would maybe argue that it would behoove you to look into putting in a sheet flooring option if you wanna put this trend in your home. That way, when you're tired of it, you can easily remove it. It's a lot easier to remove sheet flooring than it is to you know, start jackhammering tile and get all the grout out, etc. So here is an option that I really like by IVC, and this is their Sarah pattern here. And what I like about this primarily is the scale. I also like that it's only one color. So I think that kind of leans it into, it could be more considered contemporary. It can be classic, it can be vintage. It has that look without being so overtly trendy. So this is a turquoise pattern here, and they've also got a gray. And so I'll click that and then we go up here and it's in a bedroom. So that's interesting. It looks super like carpet in here, but this is really nice. So it's subtle, but yet it's on trend. So the same manufacturer, IVC, also makes another version, the, uh, the Kahlo, so as in free Kahlo, I'm guessing. Um, this one I do not like as much. So first of all, we've got the scale, which is really large. That's something that you absolutely have to consider if you're putting in, even if it's porcelain tile, if it's cement tile, anything that has these like Moroccan patterns, the scale could potentially overwhelm the space. So putting them in a bathroom, the large scale might not work. Also, if we look at this example here, so yes, this floor pattern is pretty. I'll absolutely give it that. Um, but what I don't care for is that they've got this like granite countertop and then they've also got a tile backsplash behind the sink here. So what I'm not really enjoying is all of the patterns and textures here. So if you are going to go for something that's like this Moroccan inspired flooring, I would, in this case, I would have a solid color uh, countertop here and I would have a solid color backsplash. I absolutely would not mix the three textures together it looks really busy and it's like you're almost not quite sure where you wanna look at next. Here is another pattern by Mannington and I'm gonna mention Mannington again in this video. So generally they do have nice patterns. Unfortunately, one of the things that I don't like about this is that everything skews gray um, and we'll see that a lot throughout this video that even though warmer colors and textures are starting to come into play and be more on trend, some of the flooring manufacturers haven't necessarily come up. So come, some of the flooring manufacturers haven't necessarily caught up. So what I, no, don't sign me up. Um, so this is a pretty pattern. And then when I click this image here and you can see it um, inside of the kitchen, the scale is much more suitable. So it's a smaller scale. It doesn't completely overwhelm the space like this pattern does. 
So this one by Mannington is the tapestry pattern and they've got a few other colorways but they all have like a light gray base, which is what I really don't like about it because everything being that pale gray color is definitely on the way out. So that's one thing that I don't necessarily like about this one. Um, again, so my favorite one is IVC's Sarah and it is a, a white white with a pale gray or this awesome, awesome turquoise color. So I imagine seeing this in a laundry room or a bathroom. I think this is very stunning. So this is my favorite of the Moroccan inspired uh, vinyl sheet flooring. Next up in vinyl sheet flooring that I really like is the hex tile trend. I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's tile because it's technically sheet linoleum, but the vintage hex tile. So hexagon six sides beep, 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 is absolutely coming back. And one of my favorites is this version from Armstrong Flooring. This is called Venetian Marble. And here is a warm gray version here. And then there's also, they call this the alabaster color. And then there's also this classic onyx, which is a dark gray. So this is just really nice uh, and pretty. It does have like that marble uh, look to it. You can see the marble and then let's see how it looks in a room. Okay, so here it is in a bathroom. That looks nice, it looks classy. And then let's switch over to the alabaster colorway and show it in the room. Okay, there we go. So very nice. This is very pretty. I absolutely see this uh, bathroom, laundry room, um, etc. It is grayish, but it is a little bit warmer. Like you can see how it kind of has a creamy cast to it as opposed to the sink, which has a gray cast. Another version of the hex tile that I like, hex tile trend that I like, is this sheet flooring from Mannington. So this one is called Penny Lane, um, and these are these little, I call them uh, oyster cracker tiles, uh, like the uh, oyster crackers that you would pour into like clam chowder or something. I don't know, I'm vegetarian, but. Uh, so these are about penny shaped, but they're like the crackers. Uh, and you can see that they've got like the black here, which is very typical of vintage. You'd have all white and then a few black. And they've got like a nice little marble texture to them as well. And here it is in a laundry room. Totally cute. Uh, this would also work in a bathroom or a vintage kitchen or some cute like teenager's bedroom. I mean, I think that would be super cute. And let's see, that is the white quartz with basalt colorway. And then they've also got the quartzite with granite. This one I don't like as much because it looks a little more subtle and it looks less vintage and less like the integrity of the original penny uh, penny tile. So this color I'm not quite as fond of as I am the black and white-ish version. So if you've watched my previous video, 10 2021 home design trends, you know that natural textures are big. What we're looking at here is this is a fabric-like texture and this is another uh, vinyl sheet flooring option from IVC. This is the Vanderbilt pattern. And we can see here that it has a woven fabric like appearance. So this looks nice. They have it positioned with a chair here. So I could easily see this in a living space, you know, a basement den, something to that effect. They have a couple of other colorways here. So this is a little bit warmer colorway. Um, is that the same one that we were looking at? Very well could have been. Nope, okay. So this one is a little bit warmer. And then we've got the gray, of course. Um, there's still a lot of gray colored flooring options. Uh, a lot of them just look, even if they aren't specifically gray, they have a gray cast. So some of the browns that I'm seeing uh, that are still being produced have a cooler color. So I'll pull that up in just a second. But back to this guy, this has a natural woven fabric texture and this is a great option for that trend. So just to reiterate what I just mentioned about a lot of the flooring manufacturers still making it in kind of grayish colorways, here I'm on the Mannington site, which 
honestly, they have good design. So just hands down, good design. But as I'm scrolling through here, you can see that even the browns have a cool cast. So a lot of this flooring has a very cool cast. And I expect that the offerings that are coming out later this year and next year will have more of a warmer cast to them. Next vinyl sheet flooring that I'm gonna cover is probably my favorite that I'm gonna talk about today. Here we have the Modus pattern from IVC again. And what I love about this is that it looks like terrazzo. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you know me or if you followed me a bit, you know that I love vintage and this has absolutely a vintage terrazzo floor look. Like, oh. I love this one. This is kind of like a putty color with blue. I think it's just stunning. Everything about it, I think the colorway is stunning. I think the pattern is stunning. Like, oh my God, this looks like Terrazzo. Oh my God, I love it so much. So there's three colorway options to choose from. So there's this brown. And again, you can see how it kind of has a little bit of a cool cast to it. Just lovely though. Like I see this uh, as an entryway, perhaps a uh, basement um, rumpus room. This brown one, I'm honestly thinking of putting in our upstairs bathroom. Uh, that's how much I love it. Like, look at this. Oh my God, it looks like terrazzo. I love it. I love it. I love it. So next in a stone category, because that's what I'm considering this, is this one from Armstrong. And I'm sure you guys are looking at this and you're like, oh my God, that is absolutely disgusting. But I'm telling you, the stone look is coming back. Here is a picture of it in a entryway or a foyer and see how it can look contemporary and modern. I'm envisioning this in an entryway uh, in like a mid-century house or even not. Uh, there's another version um, Calico Path, or sorry, Calico is this colorway. I believe they have other colorways. They're just not gonna be on this page. But here's a version from Tarquette, which is a lighter colorway, a little bit warmer, etc. So if you found this one to be absolutely um, offensive, there are other manufacturers that make a version of it. Like pretty much any sheet vinyl manufacturer is gonna have a version of this rock texture. And I, I think it's really cool. I, I totally dig it. Here's a tile look. And this flooring is from Tarquette and it is a travertine type pattern. What I like about this is that it has the look of tile, but without looking too much like tile. So obviously if you put it down a vinyl sheet flooring, um, there's no mistaking that it's tile or that it's actually wood. I mean, I think that you start getting kind of silly when you start pretending that flooring uh, isn't what it is appearing to be, even though I know I just mentioned the like fake rock um, <laughs> previously, but the fake rock one that was on the previous screen, I think that's suitable for a small area. Okay, so like an entryway, all right, that's fine. This that I've got on the screen right now, I think is suitable for a larger area. So a larger living space, uh, a kitchen, etc. It's like you look at this and it just looks like nice neutral flooring. There's nothing that stands out about it. You don't think it's particularly gaudy. You don't think it looks particularly fake. This is a nice classy option. Unfortunately, on the Tarquette site, when I go into Visualizer, they do not have this pattern to visualize. But if we go back to the vinyl sheet, this uh, image here, this little hero image, is a similar pattern, but you kind of get the idea where it's in a kitchen, it's in a large expanse, and it looks perfectly fine and classy. So going back to here again, so this would look perfectly fine and classy in a larger expanse. We can't ignore the chevron trend. So I've got a few options here. Um, and when I say few, I literally mean two. Um, first up is Mohawk. So this is the Versatech and it's the mystical black colorway here. This looks super duper classy. There are a couple of colorways here. There is also a gray option here. So let me find it and click through. Here we go, Cityscape is what it's called. 
and here it is in gray. So I like it in black. And if I come over to this visualizer here from Flooring Inc, there's a picture of it in a laundry room, I swear. Where'd it go? Oh, come on now. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here is the mystical black, black in a laundry room. And I think that this is an appropriate use for it. This is a large laundry room, uh, so the size and scale is fine. Uh, another thing, I know I've mentioned this already, but to consider is when you put down flooring, it's just, does the scale work for the size of the room? So this pattern in particular, uh, it, it works with the scale of the room. So you might not want to put it in a, a small, small, small room, uh, but it probably would work in a bathroom, uh, to be honest. And it looks pretty classy. So that's a good pick for Chevron. And then here we go back to IVC. That seems to be my favorite is the Bertram pattern. And what I like about this is that you've got chevrons and then it looks like it's kind of like concrete or is it wood? You know, some of the areas look like wood texture. Some of them look like concrete. So again, it's, um, it's not alluding to the fact that it's trying to impersonate any one particular material, which I think is really valuable in vinyl sheet flooring, because again, you don't want it to look super fake. So this, it can't look super fake if it's kind of not really alluding too much to what it is trying to actually impersonate. So I think if I click on room, I think it shows another colorway. Oh no, that's the colorway. So here it is in a room. Uh, it's a bold pattern for sure. But what I really like about it again, is just that the, the different textures and how there are different natural textures in here without alluding to the fact that it's any one texture in particular. I've got two funky options, uh, cause I love color and anything a little bit unusual. And I'm thinking, hoping maybe you do too. First one is from Green Building Supply and this is the Borbo brand Marmoleum. And this is pattern is called Splash. What I love about it is the different colors that are in the pattern here. I think it looks absolutely lovely. So here is a, picture showing it in use. This is the seashell pattern. So this is a large scale space, but I absolutely think that these work in a smaller space like a bathroom or a laundry room. So there are some other color options as you see here, like here's the seashell. And then here it is on the floor. Uh, I absolutely adore the color uh, hot coral or neon coral. And I can see that represented here as well as some yellow. So Forbo Marmoleum Splash is a lovely funky option. Another one is also by Forbo and this is the striato pattern and look at this amazingness. Have you guys ever seen those rainbow eucalyptus trees they've been circulating around on Instagram? This is exactly what that flooring reminds me of. Like how stunning is this? It's literally rainbows. Here it is in a space. Okay, we can see it here and then here They've got the seam here, so they are applying it kind of in a chevron type pattern, but here it looks applied to a floor. And I think it's just absolutely lovely. I love this colorway. It is called Color Stream. And finally, the last flooring that we're gonna talk about is a company that I found recently called Atrafloor. Maybe it's Atrafloor, they're British. So how would a British person say it? Atrafloor. Yeah, probably like that. So. This place, they print on demand. So they print their linoleum pattern that's on demand and they also do custom. So you guys will see in a minute some of their amazing patterns and allegedly their printing is state of the art and high tech. Anytime somebody says that they're printing on demand immediately, you know, the apparel production background person in me is like, but how's the quality? Like, how are the print heads? How is that looking? Is it sharp? Is it clear, etc. So allegedly they have got this on lock and I'm gonna scroll and show some of the patterns. Like, oh my God, these are absolutely stunning and amazing. So let's click on uh, probably shop and we can see everything that they've got. View all. This is really a treat. I love how they show it with the shoes, the feet for scale. 
Oh my goodness, algebra, it's graph paper. Oh, these are just so, so stunning. These are all amazing and fun and most likely, I think, worth the investment. So you can see the pricing. So they're a British company, so there are shipping charges that come from England, and it's $69 per meter square, and a meter is about three feet. So three feet by three feet, you're paying $69 uh, in British pound sterling. But I absolutely believe it's worth the investment. Like, it's flooring. You're going to be looking at it every day. You're going to be stepping on it every day. And if it makes you happy, like go for it. Like how often do you replace the flooring in your home? I mean, I would say that on average, it's like probably every 10 years. So if you want to splurge on some kick-ass vinyl sheet flooring for your wherever, I say you go for it. Like look at how amazing this is. All of these patterns are simply, what, what, what are they? Stunning, simply stunning. So let's say that you've identified a vinyl sheet flooring pattern that you want in your home. I have another tip for you regarding installation. Okay, so here's my tip. If you decide to install sheet vinyl flooring, I highly, highly recommend that you do not purchase those vinyl strips that go along your wall and floor like a baseboard. It looks either doctor's office-y or high traffic, so like a school or an office building. Your flooring is gonna look more luxurious if you actually use a wall baseboard, so a wood baseboard around your trim area. I would suggest that you do not use what I've got showing on the screen right now. Um, this is perfectly suitable, but I just don't think that it looks good in a residence. It also alerts people like, oh, 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 I've got a vinyl sheet floor. However, if you decide that you wanna go for it and color is important to you, well then, here's a company that makes it in a hundred colors. So if you wanted to get wild and crazy and put some bright blue up just for the heck of it, go for it. Here is a picture of, this is my flooring in my house. And you can see that instead of having avocado green vinyl hair, I have wood. So I think that that looks a heck of a lot better personally than having the vinyl uh, strip on top here. So I recommend that if you do decide to put in some vinyl sheet flooring, you use wood trim. It doesn't have to be all wood like I've got here. It can be painted white, etc. That's perfectly fine. Here's another thing to not do when installing flooring. We see here, so what has happened here is we have the existing molding and what someone has done is they have put in a plank floor up to the existing molding slash baseboard. They didn't remove it first and then they've got this little extra trim piece here. This looks terrible. So if you're putting in a new floor, you need to remove your baseboards, lay down the floor, and then put your baseboards back on. This looks, it, mm, it, it. people who know, um, know that the proper way to install any flooring is to remove your baseboard slash trim pieces, put the flooring down, and then put your trim back on, okay? Uh, yeah, it's an extra step, but it's just gonna look way more professional. And again, how often do we replace our floors? like maybe every 10 years, uh, if that. You know, I've got some floors in my house that are over 50 years old, as I just showed you in the picture. No, they're not over 50 years old. They're over 40 years old. So, you know, your flooring could last a lot longer than you anticipated. So I always say, do it right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more. Cheers.